Welcome back to another episode of the KC Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course, and pleased to be joined by the head boys basketball coach at Livonia Stevenson. That is you and Stevens. Oh my goodness. We are at, at time of recording. We are one day away from tryouts. Basketball season is officially here. Um, uh, it's, uh, it, it's a, it's a fun time. I know a lot of people, uh, are, are still in, uh, are still in football mode and all that stuff, but, uh, Basketball is right around the corner. Of course, hockey just got started as well. So uh, it is a it is a fun time if you're a uh, hockey and basketball fan because we are ready to go. But uh, how excited are you for uh, this uh, this upcoming season um, uh, with tryouts beginning uh, tomorrow? Oh, we're really excited. We can't wait. We've been we've been very busy throughout the last you know few weeks, months, um, and now just to finally be here, it's it's exciting. It's exciting. The group chats have been going busy today with coaches and everything, getting ready for tomorrow. So. Just everyone's ready to get in the gym and you know get that team selected so then we can really get down to business so it's 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 a fun time of the year that's for sure it is a really, it is a really fun time of the year now it's uh you know before we uh before we get into this year and, and preview this year's team uh just kind of recap uh how last year went for you guys yeah so last year we I, we had a strong team um we had some great players um we had a good start of the conference play um second half i felt like we dropped off a little bit um we we dropped a couple of close games that we really wanted to win, and that knocked us down in a in a tough KLA East. You know that that one or two losses can really change the whole perspective for you. You know you go from fighting that first second place going down into the middle of the conference category. So a um, couple of tough losses, um, but great group of guys, graduated people that you know are going on and doing really really great things with their lives, and we're proud of them and what they're doing. Um, so at the end of the day, it's big in the basketball. We're just really proud of the people that we have graduated and what they're doing now with their lives. Absolutely. Um, okay, so now it's time to uh, time to talk about this year's team, uh, and uh, obviously some of the uh, some of the returning players on uh, on this team, and some of the uh, guys to watch out for. So uh, go right ahead. I mean, you know, we I know we haven't had tryouts yet, but it's a there's a you know most most coaches know what they have. Yeah, we got a we got a solid group of returners. Um, we got we got Mark Stein who led our team in points last year, returning. Um, so we're really excited for him and the year he's going to have. We're we're hoping he's going to push into myself as a coach, the first thousand point club kid that I've managed to um, bring through the program. So we're excited for him to push for that this year. Um, he's going to have to really play hard to get it, but he's been he's been working hard. He's been going all summer, all fall. He hasn't he hasn't stopped playing basketball and. We've been pushing him in the weight room. You'll, when you see him in person, you'll see that he's he's a different body than he was last year. He's he's really focused in on trying to get bigger and stronger because there were a few games where you know he got pushed around a little bit more than I think he wanted to. Um, so he's been working real hard on that. Um, we bring back Dylan McGlinch as well, our point guard, um, starting point guard last year. So we're excited for him. Um, he's fresh off soccer season, so we're getting him back into the basketball flow. Um, but. It's nice because he always comes back conditioned from running, running across the field. So um, we just got to get him shots up and get him back in the gym and just keep him moving. Um, we've also got a lot of just other great players. We've got John Toth, which he's, he's, I said, Mark's got a different body. He has become a grown man in about a year. He is huge now. So he's been working really hard in the weight room, six four, six five, but just strong body. Um, John Erickson's coming back as well. Um, going to be solid for us, plays that vital role player, sort of um, middle, just fighting for everything that's out there. Um, so he's going to be great. And then also bringing back uh, junior Isaac Eichelband. So um, he's he was solid for us last year, a couple of huge games as a sophomore. So we, we're hoping that he can continue it going in. So that's kind of our core group that we know is coming back. Um, and then we're filling in a lot of positions with some high quality players. Um, we're bringing up a few JV guys from last year that we're really impressed with. Um, and then we're going to see who's, who's ready to fill those other roles as of the next three days. Yep. Okay. So I know that's, uh, that's kind of the team, but uh, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of interesting things, of course, going on with what the schedule is going to look like. It's, it's going to be somewhat similar. You obviously you'll play throughout the uh, all the division teams twice as always, but uh, mm -hmm. of course that one crossover game, but there's a uh, non-conference wise, there's uh, there's going to be, there's going to be some, some changes there. So kind of a go in and first year for the, uh, that KLAA uh, OAA uh, crossover game, and by the way, if you haven't heard, all of the OAA teams will be going to the KLAA sites uh, uh, to start off the year, and then of course next year will be uh, uh, will be flip flopped. Yeah, so we're really excited. We're bringing in Royal Oak. Um, 
So we're excited to bring in a team that we haven't played um, before. And, you know, since I've been coaching, we haven't played a Royal Oak team. So excited to bring them in and sort of see a different style of basketball than we're used to. And um, we're going to be spending, you know, the next few weeks scouting and seeing what we can find out on them. Um, but that'll be just fun. It's going to be a fun tournament um, in terms of just seeing how the conferences line up. And I think it'll be a great opportunity to kind of expose both conferences in terms of getting more more exposure for these kids. Um, we've got some very high quality players in the KLA. I know that. Um, we're still learning more about the OAA, but it'll be it'll be fun for some of our kids to get rid of that exposure that they haven't always had the opportunity to. Um, we've also got a, more tough games coming through. Um, we, we open up with Farmington um, at home, and then we travel to Saline um, after that, and that's going to be a real tough game. They've got a strong team, strong coaching staff, um, South Line as well. Um, so we've got a lot of tough games that we, we're excited for. I think it's probably going to be one of our tougher non-conference schedules we've played. Um, but with the team that we have, we're excited that we do have this um, schedule because then we know when we go into conference play, it's going to be a battle every day. So it's going to get us ready. Yeah, of course. You, and you've got some solid teams um, uh, that, you, that you're playing. And let's talk, let's talk about the division a little bit. Um, you know, obviously, as you said, the, uh, the East was really competitive last year and really from, from top to bottom. And, uh, you know, we saw that last year when uh, I don't think many people had Franklin taking the, uh, taking the, um, taking the division last year, but uh, that's what they did. Obviously uh, they still have a pretty good team this year, but what do you, what do you feel like, um, uh, what do you feel like the, the division is going to look like this year? Yeah, I think since I've been here, I think this is the strongest I've seen the KLE East in terms of every team, could potentially fight for that top spot. Um, every team's returning a lot of really strong players, and it's just going to be a battle. You know, I, I say it every year because it is a strong conference, but I think this year is the strongest it's been um, all around from top to bottom. Uh, Dearborn's bringing back pretty much their whole team. Well-coached, aggressive team, pressing team, um, and they they give a lot of teams trouble. Um, and seeing them play throughout summer ball um, and, and getting updates on them, I know that they're – they're playing at the top of their game right now. So they're, they're going to be coming in strong. A Belleville, young last year, bringing back key players. So they're going to be fighting for it. Um, and then Franklin as well. You know, I've I've always respected TJ as a coach. And I know what, how tough they play. Um, so they're going to be up in the top as well. And then, again, not to single out any teams, but just every team's bringing back people. Wayne's going to be strong. A lot of youth in that program that is just top-level players. They're going to be – they're going to be – causing problems for the KLA for the next few years, without a doubt. Wayne is going to be rising every year for the next couple of years. That's not, no doubt in my mind. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so, you know, of course, um, you know, I know the the season will officially kick off, you know, you know, in December and all that stuff. But, you know, kind of take me through these next these next few weeks, really kind of heading in really this week. And, of course, it's uh, – of course, it's Thanksgiving next week, and then just kind of take me through what these uh, what these few first few weeks are really going to look like heading into um, uh, heading into that first game against Farmington. Yeah, so it's 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 busy. It's it's a quick quick turnaround from tryouts. You know, um, just trying to make sure we get our system in. Talking about our defensive options, what we want to play with, um, and then we go into scrimmages as of next uh, next week. So right around Thanksgiving, we have a scrimmage on. Wednesday and then we scrimmage on Friday as well so just trying to make sure that we get opportunities for these guys in different positions and seeing how we're playing um it's just it's a busy busy couple of weeks but it's fun it's non-stop basketball it's in the gym hours on hours but this is where we want to be so it's going to be it's a grind that's for sure but it's a, it's a fun grind and I think we've got guys that really want to live in the gym um it's, you know, I feel bad as a coach, but, you know, you having to kick them out after an hour after practice because they just want to keep shooting. I'm like, we've got to go home eventually. But they they just want to be in they, and they want to get better. And I love that from our guys. Yeah, for sure. All right. All right, Ewan, thank you so much um, uh, for uh, for coming on and previewing the uh, the upcoming year. And best of luck. Uh, best of luck to the Spartans this season. Of course, Ewan will, uh, as the last year, Ewan will be on a couple more times this season. Of course. Thank you so much. We appreciate what you do.